all your live TV, your entire DVR, every on-demand title, on any device in home. TV on every screen is awesome. The all-new Xfinity Stream app, included with Xfinity TV. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Welcome to 89 Seconds with 890, powered by Xfinity. I am alongside Ed Farmer, and this game's pretty simple. We have 89 seconds to ask Ed anything we want. These aren't rehearsed. He has no idea what I'm going to ask him. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready for this, Rachel. You're, let's go. Are you nervous at all? Uh, not really, but let's go. <laughs> okay, if you were pitching today, who would be a hitter you would not want to face? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, when I look across, we're playing the Twins right now. Uh, I wouldn't want to face their manager, Paul Molitor, to tell you the truth. I played with him in Milwaukee. Great hitter. But when you look at the Twins, they can hurt you in so many ways. There's not one guy I would want to face. But Brian Dozier comes to the top of the list, the second baseman. Favorite memory here at the ballpark? With the fans uh, standing uh, for the World Series in 2005, the team went on, swept the Houston Astros. We were baseball's world champs. Describe Darren Jackson in three words. Great friend of mine, honest guy, and uh, keeps me on the straight and narrow. If I make a mistake, he tells me right away, and we correct it right away. Who has the best style on the team? Best style as far as clothing, uh, I, I think it's probably Darren. Uh, as far as pitching, I think it would come down to, uh, well, the former Chris Sale, who was here, he's traded. But when you look at the staff now, look at the starter, Quintana. He's got the best style of pitching around, and he's a pretty good dresser also. Yeah, and I, I was going to say, I thought you were going to say yourself with all your Nike uh, kicks that you bring in here to the ballpark and the broadcast booth. Okay, uh, what is your favorite song? What is your warm-up song? My warm-up song when I was coming in, for, for some reason they played my high school song from St. Rita High School here in Chicago. I've got a number of them, but w what jumps out at me, Journey, uh, you can't stop believing, and uh, what we had that as a mantra for the World Series. Do you still play that here today? Yeah, still, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when I hear it, it takes me back to my daughter being at the World Series with me for those five days, and then going on the parade in downtown Chicago after that, pretty special. I know it's hard to imagine, but if you weren't playing baseball or working in the baseball industry, what would you be doing? I'd probably be a medical doctor. Uh, been at Harvard, I'm a tr kidney transplant patient, 29 years, as you know, Rachel. And uh, I love science. And when we go into play in Boston, I go back to the med school at Harvard. They've been very generous with my education. One word to describe the season. Right now, early. <laughs> Thank you, Ed. Thanks, Rachel.